I'm gonna put you guys on top of my daily. Hopefully you guys can see me, you're on top of my daily. By the way, if you guys haven't tried this energy drink up, try it, it's pretty good. I'm a uh, addict when it comes to energy drinks and this is pretty good. So, I'm gonna try to do something different for this video. One of you guys actually commented on my last video saying something that my videos remind you of an R.L. Stein Choose Your Path book because they're all over the place and they make no sense. It was pretty funny. I'll give you that. It was funny and it's uh, that kind of smart criticism that makes videos better. So I'm going to take what you said and improve on the videos. So starting today, we're going to take a different approach when it comes to the videos. I'm actually going to be explaining things like if it was a story. So if you're new, it makes sense to you. If you're an OG, everything makes sense to you, of course, because you've been following all the videos. But if you're new, I can see where it gets confusing. So about two years ago, I purchased my first Miata. Um, it was a 1.6 automatic. I put a five speed in it, I turboed it. I ended up also putting a Evo ECU setup, a dyno 216 horsepower to the wheels, and it was very fun, so I'm gonna put some clips about that now. Yeah, I can't think, yeah, I don't wanna stress. I bought a foreign whip, but I don't want to flex Step back and shoot, and it hit nothing but net I always win like I rigged and paid the rest Ironic that your exes want to check I eventually ended up selling the car and I'm still sad about it but things happen you know I I don't know what I was thinking when I sold it and I regret it uh, but because of me getting that car Ricardo was influenced in getting his own Miata by the way Ricardo is my one of my closest friends he's my mechanic and he ended up getting himself a Miata because he said it looked so much fun for me having it and um, we went and bought him a Miata as well say this is probably the steal of the century you guys are gonna be pissed off when you hear how much he paid for this he honestly paid $1,300 for an M edition 1.8 five-speed hardtop original Miata. Like the After owning that Miata for like two weeks, Ricardo ended up turbo in it. I helped him a lot through the process and we had fun with that car as well. Unfortunately, the car did not last very long. It lasted like two months. I think it dyno 300 something to the wheels. It was a 1.8, not a 1.6, and it didn't last very long. And that's where we are now. Uh, now Ricardo has just about everything to fully build the engine. And what we're trying to do in this video is take the old engine apart and send it out to the machine shop so we can start building it this week. He has pistons, rods, everything. And he's looking to get around 400 to the wheel reliably. He could probably get a lot more, but he wants reliable power that he can daily drive the car. So he's looking to get around 400. I'm currently building a H22 swapped hatch as well. And I have about 95% of the parts done for that. We're trying to build both cars and we're trying to do head-to-head -head challenges and I feel like that's going to be a lot of great content for the channel. So we're building two cars on the channel and now that you're caught up to what's going on, hopefully this video makes a little bit more sense. The next clip you see after this, we'll be taking the engine apart and getting it ready to go to the machine shop. So see you in a little bit.
see the horizon, turn us to thine.